it is the station that's all about love. 104.1 Power FM. Kickstart with Ronnie and Yvonne and some amazing guests. Who are surprised to continue. see Yvonne. I did not hey. know that they did not know hey. that you are here. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody so. asking. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. Hey guys, good morning and thanks for the show. However, I need you to clarify on the dress code for sa- Sunday. Yes. Like what the ladies are to put on because... I'm not getting black tie with the shade of color, thanks. <laughs> All right, so what are the ladies hey, what, wearing? She doesn't want to wear a tie. Is it a she? No, no, no. He's a she, she's the, a he. The guys are wearing, they said uh, it's a black tie affair. I guess. So, so that means uh, you're all suited up and what. So uh, that doesn't mean the ladies have to wear black. Uh, just come <laughs> in a nice dinner dress. Uh, come to rock it. Come, it's Valentine's, it's a you know? Everyone yeah. is coming with their husband and their wife hey, and hey, what, hey, so we have, you, you rock we have, it. We have B3 in the studio. Eh? Yeah. And sh- if, anyway, for the number She's of times that I have been around her, yeah, it's safe to say that she has like two, maybe five points off the top of her head that she can share. About fashion. So Given th- let's just jump straight into it. Good morning, B3. Hey, Roni. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm getting my studio accent. Very good. Very All good, right, very studio good. accent loading. Uh, good morning, Graham. Good morning. How are you? You came with yours. It, it loaded already. It Mine is in default <laughs> settings. Very good. It's so good to see you, Graham. Uh, how are you, B3? Um, fine. Eh? Starstruck. Do it, Starstruck. Do it, do it. <laughs> Listen, ah. so we, we, are, we are doing a love week. Thing and mm-hmm. yesterday we were talking about you know what 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 genuine fears do people have about coupling up or those especially those that are not yet uh, where the both of all, all three of you are yeah mm. 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 hashtag well, no so. pressure <laughs> <laughs> oh stop stop he makes all things beautiful in his time mm-hmm. when did it anyway <laughs> so would like to know how did you know they were the one oh, lightning I, bolt I, I thought you were going to ask him how did they know <laughs> how did you meet because they, they met different people <laughs> so let, let's start with B3 first of all ladies what, what sort of name is that B3 uh, I'm trust sure me it's for some reason everywhere I go people give me names uh-huh. so that's one of those names uh-huh. with no hidden meaning it's just B3. So it's not for many Greek root word of uh, that word, <laughs> which no. means the Trinity. And uh, So tell B3. us, who, who is B3? Hmm. I'm a child of God. Hallelujah. I think that's the best definition because when you take everything else away, yeah. I'm a child of God. But what do I do um, through the week? I work with Worship Harvest. All right. Uh, my husband and I are pastors at Kati Kati. Worship Harvest, uh, one of the locations. Yeah, and, I'm a mother to of two. And to me, that a bawange. Yeah, you're a mother of two. Oh, I'm a mother of two. Um, yeah, I, I studied social work and social administration. Where else is this going? <laughs> what else do you want to know? Oh, oh. That, that, that will suffice. How long yeah. have you guys been married? Seven years. Seven uh, years. Yeah. Seven awesome years. You understand seven you're also awesome going to answer years. all these questions, eh? I, I doubt okay. that they will. Okay. And then we have uh, Graham. Uh, we call him Brooks. GT. Hey, the guys have names here. But B3 stands for Beatrice, right? Yes. Uh, okay, yes. Right. I don't know where the three comes in. Three. Uh, <laughs> Twa. Be- three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Three. Forgive me. Three. The mm. Trinity. All Very right. good. So we also have Graham Tugume in the studio. <laughs> good morning, Musumba. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank mm, you. Who, who is Graham? Graham is a, is a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a man of God. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I I am married yeah. to Sheila Togume. Uh, going on eight years this year. Really? Yes. Already. And we have two beautiful children, Alexa and Blanche. Wow. Very good. All right. And uh, who what, what, is Ronnie? Uh, no, hold sorry, on, we're coming. Sorry, what what sorry, do you sorry, do sorry, here sorry. at Bototo Church? I give pastoral oversight to our worship arts department. Okay. And that's uh, all the music. Big productions, technical team, media, you name it. So the cantatas and people, angels flying uh, mm. in the building and what, that's that's all that, you guys. That's correct. Awesome. So, mm. hey, you guys can feel free. We have these guys in the studio. We're definitely mm-hmm. going to let you know what we're talking about. But what did you want to ask me? Who's Ronnie? 
Come on. Seriously? No, we're just... See, we're going with the flow. All right, so my name is Ronnie. I do the show here on Power <laughs> FM. I've been married eight years, have two children. Who is Yvonne? <laughs> Yvonne is a child of God. <laughs> Moving on swiftly. One, one question, one random question, so we get this one out of the way before we, we, we get into the news mm. and then uh, return and talk about what we're talking about yes. today. Someone says, is it true it's Ash Wednesday today? Uh-huh. Over us born again don't believe in it. Uh, otherwise, the love week is awesome, great topics, and we look forward to more, especially on Friday with the singles. Oh. We have pastors in the house. Yeah, oh, thank you very much. Well, Ash Wednesday, is it true? No pressure. <laughs> Uh, it is indeed Ash Wednesday today, and uh, I guess, uh, I don't even know why it was called Ash Wednesday. It's because we're beginning. The, the first is beginning, and so Ash and Sackcloth, oh. so maybe Sackcloth wasn't too popular, so they just kept the... I, I don't know. I don't want to get uh, theologically wrong, but yes, it is, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, the love week is still great. And <laughs> Ash doesn't change with time. It doesn't change with time. But Swag does. <laughs> swag, so, so I... <laughs> <laughs> the sack had to go. <laughs> we, we, we kept that. Ah, oh, there you go. Amazing. We'll be getting into the news with Johnny <laughs> Tanasiwa in just a bit. But like we've said, if you want to um, bring in those questions today, we want to ask, you know, how do you know uh, she is the one, you know? What if you find yourself in a situation where you're in love with two? And that yeah. may sound like it's far-fetched, but uh, yeah, been there, done that. There are guys who just feel like, yeah, so could it be her or could it be... Ha, you know, and you're just confused about could all of that. Could it be becomes could it be. Uh-huh. So mm. we'll be talking about that uh, in just a bit. But for now, we'll be getting into the news with Jonita Nasiwa. I leave you the jazzy piece from Grover, Washington, called Allen and Allen. All right, so when we return in the studio, we're joined with uh, Beatrice Biermanzi, a.k.a. B3 from Worship Harvest. And then we have Graham Brooks uh, Tugume uh, from Watoro Church. And uh, we want to hear from them. Uh, They'll be sharing us their story about how they met. uh, For them, they've just met here in the studio, but how they met their significant others. And uh, we'll take it on from there. And Our I next guess, song. Huh? Yeah, the next song is just ideal. Has those two keywords that mm. uh, the three of you in studio, with the exception of myself, have uh, pronounced and are still walking the journey with your partners. And mm. the words are, I, I do. do. It's electric. It's dynamic. Wakes you up. Tucks you in at night. Your staple. It's always on. All day long. long. Non-stop. Stop. On air, on site, and online. Power 104.1 FM. Uh, it's Power 104.1 FM, uh, your station that's all about love. Eh, the things you get to hear behind the scenes, unfortunately, you guys don't get to see, the, get to hear them on the other side. We're but, not uh, telling you. These are packs of the job. We're not telling you. Mm. <laughs> if you want to participate, we're getting into a, an open discussion with Graham and Beatrice. So, no, B3, please. Eh, feel free to uh, get in touch. You know, send us that text message to the number 0753-104-104. And when we do open the lines, if you want to participate, the number is 031-0414-342020. That's right. And already some SMS is coming in. Uh, we'll be getting into those in just a bit. But we want to start. Uh, we're asking, you know, how do you know this is the guy? You know, uh, it's uh, like like we said yesterday, Graham, we're just sharing about uh, someone, Pastor Guy, I think, uh, shared at uh, one of the youth camps. And he said there were the three C's of life. And the most important, he said there was one... The creed, yeah, you wrote them down. The creed, who you subscribe to, who you decide to, you know. Then to your companion, who you get married to. And then number three, he said, you know, career. And uh, he said, if you get career wrong, you can hustle and what, and you know, make ends meet. It but if you get number two wrong, misery. If you get number one wrong, then Sorry. it's death even after life and, and all of that. <laughs> so uh, it's a very important decision who you choose to be your spouse. And they say marriage is not one to be entered into and advisedly and all of that so we want to know what's your story Graham how did you meet Sheila how did you know she was the one well I'm, I met Sheila at least 10 years before we were ever married okay and uh, she was leading worship Hallelujah. at the church and I was a musician playing keyboard playing mm-hmm. keys at the time actually I was playing bass at the time yeah um we ended up on the same worship team. 
mm. and uh, a camaraderie, a badness, a friendliness grew out of that with no intentions. No strings ever, attached. Oh, no strings attached. Mm. I mean, at the time, I was like, what, S4 or something? Yeah. Like, I was not thinking of marrying anyone mm. or settling You're just down. buddies. I was just buddies. We're on the same worship team. And we do stuff together. But proximity uh, and time does things to people. <laughs> you don't say. Because <laughs> yeah, being on the same team for years, literally, yeah. you, you get close. Not just with the one person. If it's mostly the same people on the team, you become a clique. You, yeah. you, you become bad. Like a worship clique. Yeah. You, you, you're closer than... Most random people you meet yeah. and spend a few minutes with. I mean, you're on the same vehicles, you're on the same teams. Even on stage, you just know the other track. You, you know exactly. how to play. It. Yeah, you so you already has. have. Yeah, you, you already have a chemistry. Now, yeah. I'll tell you why that's an advantage. It's because as a person, I don't believe in dating, really. Okay. Because when you date. Everyone brings their A game. Whereby you define <laughs> dating as what? Everyone brings as their asking a, game. a girl out, and mm-hmm. then you go out and to check each other to check out. Each other out. <laughs> I think the person you take out, yeah. you should sort of have already checked her out behind the scenes. I'll explain. Uh huh. So you see, when you when you just approach a, a, a girl and say, "Hey, Yvonne. can I like you, Yvonne? Le, can we grab a cup of coffee?" Okay, that's cool, but. I wouldn't want to be trying to do that to form a life decision. Uh-huh. It w- I would want to do it to get to know who Yvonne is. Yeah. But there is um, a plethora of opportunities in which I can do that. One mm. of them is serving together. One of them is just taking the same ride home. Yeah. Another, d- dates is just one of the things on the list. Now, when you go to a date, someone will dress a certain way they'll behave a certain way they'll get coaching on how to what to do and what not to do and <laughs> Man, blah, the blah, chicks blah. always do that say what do you think is this dress cow exactly. ah, no, that one you are not showing okay. enough you are showing too much <laughs> yeah yeah if, it, yeah if it is you know it's like a good speech hey. it needs to be long enough to cover the important subject uh-huh. but short enough to, to remain interesting to remain interesting <laughs> don't don't quote me don't cut me seller that. Oh, man. <laughs> but anyway because we were on the same team with no strings attached, mm. this is just my story. Yeah. This friendship that we developed was a no acting friendship. If we were mad at each other, we were mad. No but a game, no what. No a game, no what. We were just being real. But you have to be on the same team tomorrow, so you have to reconcile and mm. be bad days and make up again. Yeah. That means I have been to dinners where she looks stunning in a dinner gown and she has brought her a game. But we have also ever done lock-ins at each other's homes where she's in a she's just in, in, her good, in her good shirt from home <laughs> and be tutu in her hair and what. Yeah. So you're not now attracted to the outside thing because beauty is fleeting. The made-up version. The made-up version changes. Mm. And if, you know, so that's not who you are attracted to. You're attracted to the person. Wow. Okay. So once those inhibitions have gone away, the things that don't matter will also go away. I'll explain. If she says, I can't be this guy because, you know, he's not fashionable or whatever. <laughs> His swag, man. Is you just... only think about those things for someone who's trying to date you. Mm. But I'm not trying to date you. I'm just a guy just on, on the your team. team. I'm are doing my thing. Mm. You get. So those things go away. She has already accepted you for who you are. For who you are. And certain things, it's sh- iron sharpening iron. Over time, mm. maybe if you're underdressing and the team has upgraded, you will start to <laughs> dress to fit in. <laughs> it's not a line in the sand that yeah. if you I can't cross this one before it. time, yeah. then it's not happening. Yeah. Those things change. Those don't matter. These things of he's too short, he's too tall. Mm. Girls are imagining what the wedding pictures are going to look like. Mm-hmm. Or what people are going to say. say like I can't date like, uh, this guy. He's too but when he's your friend, no strings attached, you're, you already uh, know his road. <laughs> <laughs> he has been there the whole time. You're not looking at him through, the, uh, through your wedding album. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, uh, with all that comes the, the insecurities fall away. 
Yeah. And you start to distinguish between what is changeable. Like his height is not going to change. Mm -hmm. His skin color is not going to change. Mm -hmm. Where he's from that is not going to change. That one can change these days. There's, there's, there's right. technology to allow that. Absolutely. So, yeah. But it's not so. a non-negotiable. <laughs> I understand. Where he's from, his ethnicity is not going to change. Whether he was from a rich family or a poor family is neither going to change, nor is it in any way their fault. He has already been accepted. He has already been who he is. Mm. Who he is now is a product of where, you know, his uh, accumulation of his life experiences and time and whatever. Mm. So this is who you have. And he's just your buddy. So Wow. Uh -huh. I'm going to pause right there okay. because that that is some profound stuff right there, okay? Uh, and I want to now switch over to, to, to B3. Um, what's your story? I know Graham's story is still in the middle, uh, <laughs> but, but he has given a lot of insight, you know, into the whole dating game and, and all of that. So for, for the ladies, how do we ask this, Yvonne? How did they meet you? How, how were you met? <laughs> how was I met? <laughs> how did you know you were the right one to be met? Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, um, yes. So I was, I was at the university in mm -hmm. 2004. Um, fresh out of a brief relationship, my first boyfriend. Uh -huh. And so I was, I didn't want to. You didn't want to know. Because I had promised myself the first guy I date, I marry. So but I what date happened? this guy. Mm. He was really nice, but I knew that I was not going to get married to him. I just knew. Nice as he was. Yeah. From the very first day. No, uh, right after we said we are going to date. We so, were good friends. Okay. And then we said, hmm, I'd never had a boy who was mm. a friend mm. in my life. Boys were scared of me. <laughs> so ding this ding. one wasn't scared. <laughs> 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 and he was nice. He was a, he was a singer. He was um, <coughs> born again. It looked okay. He was a really mm. nice guy. But when you we started knew. dating, just, just it's like suddenly there was a disconnect. And so I, I, I broke it off. Mm. I hope not with those SMSs of it. I not did. You, it I is really me. did a long SMS. <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm one of those people. <laughs> oh my God. Don't, don't. But There's anyway. a song we play here on Power <laughs> FM. It's called <laughs> She's a Heartbreaker. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so anyway, so I joined university. And I'm done. I tell God, you know, the guy I date, mm. I marry. And I'm not, da like, I'm not dating anyone until... I have b done a master's degree. Do you understand? Mm. Like, mm. So I repelled boys. So I joined this music uh, group called Worship Harvest. And I introduced myself. The first day they asked you, I introduced myself. Part of my introduction yes. was, I don't like boys. Like, hey. stay away <laughs> from me. You dropped it so like it's hot. <laughs> So you can imagine, I didn't want the brothers to be confused. Mm. I was, you know, that scripture of treat all the younger men as brothers wow. in all periods. Yeah. So I wanted them away from me. You are clear. Clear, clear from the beginning. Hey. So that if you become my friend, you know that it's not going anywhere. It's not going yeah. anywhere. Mm. Yeah, so Jeremy was on the team. At the time, I think he was dating someone. Um, so really, nothing. But that's 2004. Mm. 2000, I think he his relationship ended at some point. But he was a nice guy. Yeah. Uh, so Mose, the, uh, our leader at the time, gave us an assignment to do together. We started doing this assignment. Mm -hmm. It was something to do with the Harvest Post. I didn't really like Jeremy. One, he used to come late for most of the meetings. Mokama. And he looked like he was full of himself. He just looked, I think because, I don't this. know, he just looked like he thinks he's so cool. <laughs> he had gadget gadgets. He was always on <laughs> them. He had his Kamak computer. He just looked like he thinks he's so cool. And I was like... <laughs> fake guy this type you think here. you're so cool mm? you're never going to be my friend uh -huh. okay. and bambi he was nice wow. so we yeah. did these assignments together i don't mm. know what and one day he rescued me there was this guy on campus who who had a, a physical you know um inability of sorts but he used to use it he would come and ask you out if you say no, he says it, it's because it's because of this yeah, thing. So because eh? I am because not. Because I'm not what what what. So, so and so he had. I don't know how he found my room on campus. He would come there. I started running away from my room, and he would find me at the at the at the chapel. So this day I was walking out, and he came. And he stands there, and he and he's telling me, "What's up?" As in, let's at least go for lunch. I've been looking yeah. for you, and I've found mm. you. <laughs> like this guy i don't know what to do because he's going to use this thing to say it's because I i'm know, lame that yeah. you don't want to go yeah and because he had told it to me before i don't know where jeremy came from he did that movie thing Night in he's, like, he's like hey are you ready let's go for lunch oh, I'm like, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So Bambi, we went <laughs> for lunch. Oh. And we had so many lunches after that. But he was really my friend. Like, nada. The thing Graham said, he was... Of, you know, you, you were on the same team. Mm-hmm. I was not interested. He was not interested. You were not dating. These lunches uh-huh. were not dates. Nothing. It was just... <laughs> Hey, we take a walk, go for lunch, and we'd go with other friends. Mm. Hey, then he'd walk me to, he had, he had finished university, mm. I was at the university, walk me to my room, talk about, we're on the same team, so you're always bumping into each other. Yeah. Mm. So Jeremy, at some point, we, actually, I think we were asked by the team, the music team, Yeah. you guys are overhanging around each other. We you were very transparent. You hadn't so noticed. They, yeah, <laughs> we hadn't noticed. <laughs> So they put us in this thing and say, what's going on? People start laughing. What? I'm like, oh my God. Jeremy says, well, I like her. They're like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? He says the way a boy likes a girl. Oh, oh. I was like, oh. So the journey sort of, I was like, what? Jeremy likes me the way a boy likes a girl. Uh-uh. So he I tells tell me. A tell me girl. <laughs> then he, but he was my friend. I don't know. I had seen, there was nothing. Like there was nothing spectacular. I'm mm. um, He was just my friend. I knew everything I needed to know. There was nothing. Ooh, my heart was, I would not see him and my heart beats faster. So, I get butterflies flying out of my uh, stomach. Uh, uh, so let me ask, uh, and I'm also going to pause you there. You two both seem to allude to the fact because what the picture you're painting is very mm. different from what most guys see. Guys, I don't know whether when you watch Salvador, I don't even know what's showing Salvador. these days. Yeah, Salvador <laughs> might be like for those days, our hey. days, Manu Riviera, who are now, now these dangerous women, mm. housewives who did what? The rich also cry. Hey, the rich also cry. Um, it's very guys, guys now. seem to feel this supposed to be a chemistry. Um, yeah, unless Jer- your story had yeah. started very well, then you spoiled uh, it. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy showed up like you know, hey. was like a nice and shining armor, and, and people expect this chemistry. The, chemis- the chemical and, reactions they come. Yeah, but but, but what I'm saying, you two seem to allude to the fact that. Um, it started off as plain, no, no strings attached, no magical word, no, no music bed in the background, no or you know, <laughs> because the picture many guys seem to have is that you know when I see him, I will know him. There will be this all, jing jing. I don't know how to put it, that but um, sit on yeah, thoughts. we're going to sit on that one. We'll be right back, <laughs> uh, right after this, and then we'll also hear from Yvonne and find out if uh, she has. I want to tell you a little bit about Chobe. <laughs> <laughs> mm, then we can go into the ads. <laughs> 